online viewers welcome to our lecture video in this lecture video i am going to explain how you can apply correction to your angles which are measured using your theodolite and how you can calculate your horizontal angles from those uh, from those measured values so as you can see here this is how our data sheet look, uh, looks like so we have our first instrument station we have our object uh, 6 and 2 and we have our first set which is our zero set we have our second set we have which is our uh, 90 set and we have our face left and face right condition and we have calculated our mean offset and with the help of these values we have calculated our horizontal angles so i am going to explain how we can calculate all of these and how you can apply your correction and calculate your horizontal angle so firstly i'm going to uh, i'm going to uh, use this set of data so what we have is we have our instrument station one and right now i am uh, seeing at my instrument station six and my instrument station two so let's say this is my so, so let's say this is my instrument station one and right now i'm looking at my instrument station six and instrument station two so what i what i what is happening is i have uh, placed my through the light over instrument station one over uh, on the top of my instrument station one i have my through the light and right now i am sitting at my instrument station six and instrument station two and right now i am uh, uh, setting zero right now i have done zero set uh, at uh, zero shift for my face left condition uh, face left condition for my uh, for my station 6 for my station 6 so right now what i have done is i have done my zero set of uh, face left condition with a uh, face left condition for my uh, instrument station uh, for my station 6 for my station 6 so uh, so right now what i have, I have simply written that i have set a uh, 0 degree 0 minute and 0 seconds dms means a uh, degree minute second for uh, with a uh, face left condition for my uh, instrument station 6 and with uh, and after after doing uh, zero set and after doing zero set over here i have simply shifted my through light over to my instrument station 2 and i have calculated my and i have uh, observed my uh, angle i have observed my angle and I have found my angle to be uh, 87 degree 40 minutes 0 second 87 degree 40 minutes 0 seconds similarly uh, what I have done now is uh, I have after after completing this uh, after completing this measurement what I'll be simply doing is uh, right now my instrument is facing uh, in facing station 2 after that I'll be simply transiting my uh, transiting my through light after that I'll be simply transiting my through light or turning my through light 180 degree turning my uh, through light 180 degree or my face right condition or my face right condition r means face right so uh, previously my uh, previously I, di I did both of these measurement with my uh, face left condition but after this i am going to do my measurement with uh, face right condition face right condition and face right condition with my uh, with face right condition i am going to observe again at my uh, at my station 6 at my station 6 but this time with my face right condition and uh, as you can see here initially it was 0 degrees so what i have simply done is i have rotated my through light by 180 degrees i have uh, rotated my through light by 180 degree so i should be actually getting my value 180 degree 0 minute 0 second but in real i have got my value as 180 degree 0 minutes 20 seconds because of the various error which can occur in our field uh, which could be uh, which could be some instrumental error or manual error i have got a uh, uh, I have got some difference and this is uh, this is uh, basically because of uh, uh, user uh, user error uh, there might not be proper labeling or uh, various other uh, or various other reasons I have got a 180 degree 0 minutes 20 seconds so my actually uh, my value needed to be uh, actually I had to get 180 degree 0 minutes 0 second but I got 180 degree 0 minutes 20 seconds so as you can see here I have got some amount of error so I need to apply correction to this error so I'm going to explain how we can do this and finally uh, with face right condition i am going to observe again at station uh, uh, station 2 uh, and i have got this value as 267 degree 40 minutes 30 second 267 degree 40 minutes 30 second so uh, so this value also must be uh, must be uh, the sum of 180 degrees so as you can see here with face left condition i got 87 degree 40 minutes 0 seconds if i add 180 degrees so as you can see 87 degree 40 minutes 0 seconds 40 minutes 0 seconds plus 180 degree 0 minutes 0 seconds so if i do this calculation i'm going to get uh, 267 degree 40 minutes uh, 40 minutes 0 second but right now i have got my value as 267 degree 40 minutes 30 seconds so as you can see here there is some sort of uh, some sort of error in a uh, error in this measurement as well the observed value is 30 seconds more while this observed value is 20 seconds more so we are going to apply correction to this uh, correction to this so as you can um, uh, see uh, clearly see uh, clearly see to check whether your uh, whether your observation is correct or not is simply the uh, face uh, the difference or the difference of face left and face right condition must be 180 degrees so as you can see here uh, this measurement is more than 20 seconds while this measurement is more than 30 seconds so we are going to apply correction so now for our correction what we are going to simply do is as i explained before so let me tell it uh, one more time we are going to use this uh, we are going to use the uh, simple property that the 
फेस लिफ्ट एंड फेस टाइट कंडीशन द ऑब्जर्व बेयरिंग ऑफ फेस लिफ्ट एंड फेस टाइट कंडीशन मस्ट बी 180 डिग्रीज द डिफरेंस मस्ट बी 180 डिग्रीज एंड इफ इट इज मोर और लेस बाय 180 डिग्रीज वी आर गोइंग टू सिंपली ऐड और सॉफ्ट राइट दोज वैल्यूज सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन दिस विद माय एग्जांपल सो फर्स्टली आई हैव गॉट माय फेस लिफ्ट रीडिंग एज 0 डिग्री 0 मिनट्स 0 सेकंड आई हैव डन 0 सेट एट एट स्टेशन 6 देन आई हैव गॉट माय फेस टाइट वैल्यू एज 180 डिग्री 0 मिनट्स 20 सेकंड सो एज यू कैन क्लियरली सी द डिफरेंस इज ऑफ इज ऑफ 0 डिग्री 0 minutes 20 second this value is clearly more is clearly more by 20 seconds so what i'm going to simply do is i'm going to divide this value by 2 i'm going to simply uh, divide 0 degree divide by 2 and i'm going to get this value as 0 degree 0 minutes 10 seconds and i'm going to simply subtract this value this half value from the uh, from my face right i'm going to always subtract my uh, correction i am always going to subtract or add uh, in uh, in some case uh, where the value is more than 180 degree i am going to subtract but in the case where the value is less than 180 degree i am going to uh, add uh, add my required correction but i am going to do all those correction for my face right condition only so you can see here i have got my uh, required correction as 10 seconds so you can see here why i have done uh, divide by 2 i have done divide by 2 because right now we are dealing with uh, two different uh, readings so you can see here we are dealing with two different readings and uh, both of uh, the corrections must be divided equally among both of this uh, both of this reading but right now we are dealing with only face right so i have got my uh, so i have got my uh, correction as 0 degree 0 minutes 10 second so what i am going to simply do is i am going to subtract the value so i have got my 180 degree 0 minutes 20 seconds minus my right now my correction is uh, 0 degree 0 minutes 10 seconds and i am going to get my value as 180 degree 0 minutes 10 seconds so right now for my minute and second i am going to uh, write down my correction as 0 minutes 10 seconds so one of the important points which i did not mention before was while doing our uh, sighting with our uh, thread light while measuring our uh, horizontal angles the error must be in minute and second only the error cannot uh, exit minute or second or we cannot have error over uh, degree so if i had a uh, error uh, such as 181 degree the error will be 1 degree 0 minutes 20 seconds we cannot have error over uh, error in a uh, degree we, we need to have our error only in minute and seconds uh, so that we can uh, so that we can apply uh, this correction so if we uh, so if we had got our error in a degree we had to uh, do the sighting one more time in our field only so now let me explain uh, the other step so as you can see here for my next step as well i have got my 87 degree 40 minutes 0 second while i have got my other as 267 degree 40 minutes 30 seconds so right now i have got 87 degree 40 minutes 0 second plus 180 degree 0 minutes 0 second will be uh, 267 degree 40 minutes 30 seconds 40 minutes 0 second but i have got my but right now i have got my uh, value as uh, 267 degree 40 minutes 30 seconds which means my value is more by uh, which means when i subtract this to value i get that i get my value is more by 0 degree uh, 0 seconds and 30 minutes as i explained before what i need to do uh, next is i need to divide it by 2 why divide by 2 because right now we are dividing our uh, error for both face lift and right condition uh, so i get this value as 0 degree 0 minutes 15 seconds so this is my correction this is my correction this is my correction but uh, but for my minute and second but right now in our table over here we do not write our correction but we write our corrected value right now over here we are writing our corrected value not the correction corrected value uh, not the correction so next uh, what i need to do is this is my correction but my uh, value is 267 degree 40 minutes 30 second 267 degree 40 minutes 30 seconds minus my correction why minus because this value is uh, this value is uh, more than uh, it needs to be it it needed to be 267 degree 0 seconds but it is uh, more it is more than this value uh, because i have got 267 degree uh, 40 minutes 30 seconds so minus 0 degree 0 minutes 15 seconds so i get my correction as 267 degree 40 minutes uh, 15 seconds so this is my value so right now i am going to write a minute and second which is 40 minutes Write down my corrected value, which is of 40 minutes 15 seconds. So in the table, I'm going to simply write 40 and 15. So my first correction for my zero set is done. Now what I'm going to do is, and uh, now I'm going to do for my uh, 90 set, and uh, I have got my data for 90 set in uh, this way. So let me simply explain what is uh, uh, what is our second or what is our 90 set. So what we did initially was we had we had our instrument station right over here. in our instrument station 
and we observed our station 6 and station 2 so what we did initially was we set our 0 we set our 0 set uh, 0 set of, uh, with our face left condition for our station 6 and then we observed our observed our angles now what are we going to do is for a better accuracy in order uh, obtain a better accuracy we are next going to uh, set 90 we are going to set 90 degree you know with a face left condition at our instrument station 6 and we are going to do the same uh, uh, same process one more time face left condition at uh, 6 and we are going to observe our uh, instruments uh, then we are going to observe our station 2 and again we are going to have face right condition uh, set it to uh, and set it to st station 6 and observe again our uh, station uh, station 2 so let me explain this so what I what we are uh, simply doing is firstly we are setting 90 degrees 0 minutes 0 second for our uh, for our object 6 or for our station 6 and next uh, with the uh, with this 90 set we are going to uh, and with the face left uh, and condition we are going to again observe at our instrument station 2 so what we are going to do is we are going to set 90 this time we are going to set 90 with the 90 set at instrument station 6 we are going to observe our instrument station 2 it can be uh, it can be any station uh, any station according to your uh, according to your field so right now i am explaining uh, so right now i am explaining this example and right now i got my um, value as i got value as 176 176 degree 45 minutes 48 second 176 degree 45 minutes 48 seconds and with face right condition i am again i am going to again observe at my station 6 and i got my value as 270 0 46 270 degree 0 minutes 46 seconds and again with face right condition i am going to observe at station at station 2 and i got my value as 356 45 46 356 45 and 46 so now let me explain how we can do a correction one more time so uh, so as explained before i got my uh, 90 over here 90 90 degree 0 minutes 0 second if i add 180 to this i am going to get 270 degree 0 minutes 0 second so according to theoretically uh, when uh, theoretically at perfect condition i should have observed my uh, angle at instrument station uh, 6 with face side condition as 270 degree 0 minutes 46 uh, seconds but right now i have ob obtained 270 degree 0 minutes 46 seconds which means right now my value is more by uh, is more by 46 seconds is more by 0 degree 0 minutes 46 seconds so right now my observed value for face side condition is more by 0 degree 0 minutes uh, 46 seconds what i am going to to do is I'm going to uh, divide this value by 2 and I'm going to get my value as 0 degree 0 minutes 23 seconds this is my required correction this is my required correction and my error is 270 degree 0 minutes 46 seconds so right now this is uh, more so I'm going to simply subtract it with uh, 0 degree 0 minutes 23 seconds I'm going to simply subtract this and I'm going to get my value as 270 degree 0 minutes 23 seconds so right now I'm going to write my corrected value over here which is 0 minutes and 23 seconds 0 minutes 23 seconds and we're going to apply all our, all our correction to our face right condition only next i have my uh, this uh, this value so as you can see here i have my uh, 176 degree 45 minutes 48 seconds with my uh, 48 seconds with my face left condition and i have got uh, if i add 180 degree to this uh, if i add 180 degree to this value 80 degree i get 356 degree 45 minutes 48 seconds so this was my ideal condition but right now i have obtained uh, 356 degree 45 minutes 46 seconds so as you can see here, uh, the from the value which I needed to obtain, the from the required value, I have obtained less. How much I have obtained less? I had to obtain uh, 356 degree, 45 minutes, 48 seconds. But right now I have obtained 356 degree, 45 minutes, 46 seconds. Which means I have a error of 0 degree, 0 minutes and 2 seconds. If I divide it by 2, I am going to get 0 degree, 0 minutes, 1 seconds. So what I am simply going to do is for my uh, this value of 356 degree 45 minutes 46 seconds I am going to simply add this value. Why add? Because my uh, obtained value from the field is less plus 0 degree 0 minutes 1 seconds and I am going to get this value as 356 degree 45 minutes 47 seconds. So as you can see here right now I have my error in only in uh, only in a degree. I do not have uh, so what you can see from this value is I have my error only in minute and seconds. I do not have any error in a degree. So if you uh, so while doing your observation uh, observations only, you need to make sure that you are having your error only in minute and seconds, not in degree. So right now I have got my this value as 45 degree uh, 47 minutes. So I'm going to simply write it over here 45 47. So in this way, we can apply your uh, correction. What we have next is uh, now after applying your correction, we are going to calculate our, calculate our horizontal angles. 
but before calculating our horizontal angle we need to calculate our mean offset as well so i'm going to explain how you can calculate your mean offset so in order to calculate your mean offset what we're going to simply do is we are going to calculate mean of this data this collected value is going to simply take the mean of this uh, data so first you are going to take the mean of these two data and you are going to place it over here so before doing that we are going to simply take this 180 degree and place it over here and we are going to take this 267 degree and simply place it over here and now we are going to take the mean of this value so let me put it in my calculator and so what we are going to do next first now we are going to take our mean of 0 degree 0 minutes 10 seconds plus 0 degree 0 minutes 23 seconds divided by 2 so what we are going to simply do is we are going to take the mean of 0 degree 0 minutes uh, 10 seconds plus 0 degree 0 minutes 23 seconds uh, divided by 2 I'm going to get my value as 0 degree 0 uh, seconds 16.5 minutes so this is going to be 0 degree 180 degree 0 minutes 16.5 seconds so what we have simply done over here is in order to calculate our mean offset we are going to simply take this value put it over here no any changes because we have no any error in degree right now we have error error in our minute and seconds only so we are going to take the mean of both uh, both of this quoted value so we have 0 degree 0 minute 10 seconds so what we simply did over here is we uh, took our average of 0 degree we took our average of 0 degree 0 minutes 10 seconds plus 0 degree 0 minutes 23 seconds divided by 2 and we got this value as 0 degree 0 minutes 16.5 seconds and we simply put it over here in this way and 180 degree remains same now for our uh, this value as well we are going to take our uh, we are going to we are going to take our average so i have simply placed my 267 degree here uh, 267 degree over here now i'm going to take my average of 0 degree 40 minutes, uh, 0 degree, 40 minutes, 15 seconds, plus 0 degree, 45 minutes, 47 seconds. So I have simply taken the average of both this value, divided by 2, I get uh, 0 degree, 43 minutes, 1 second, 0 degree, uh, 267 degree, 43 minutes, 1 second, 1 second. So in this way you can calculate your mean offset as well so after calculating your mean offset in order to calculate our horizontal angle our horizontal angle is uh, simply the difference of both of these values our horizontal angle is simply the difference of both these values so our horizontal angle is simply equal to 267 degree 43 minutes 1 second minus minus 180 degree 0 minutes 16.5 seconds 16.5 seconds and i get this value as uh, 87 degree 42 minutes 42 minutes 44.87 degree 42 minutes 44.5 seconds so in this way we can get your uh, required horizontal angle and apply your correction as well so before ending the video i'm going to uh, show you one more example uh, one more example of an uh, of an of a little bit different case so where you might get confused so right now i have my uh, data over here this data i'm going to focus on this data where i have got uh, 232 degree 52 uh, 52 minutes 14 seconds and i have got my face right value as 152 degree 20 minutes 20 seconds seconds so as you can see here the data is a little bit unusual so focus on this data so in order to explain this clearly let me explain uh, for this data as well so my data so right now i have got 232 degree 52 minutes and uh, 14 seconds for my face left condition and for my face right condition and my and for my face right condition i have obtained a 52 degree 20 minutes 20 seconds so as i explained before face lift plus 180 degree must be equal to my uh, first face right condition but if it is not equal i'm going to add my i'm going to add or subtract my correction but as you can clearly see if i add 180 degree to this i'm not going to get this value anywhere near so why did i obtain this value in my throw light so what i mean in our throw light is whenever we get our angle greater than 360 degree or uh, let's say if i obtain uh, 361 degree 5 minutes uh, 5 minutes and 5 seconds my throw light is going to show, show this as 1 degree 5 minutes 5 seconds because whenever my angle reaches 360 degree my thread is not going to show the value as 361 degree but it is uh, but it is simply going to subtract minus 360 degree and show the remaining angle so i'm going to get 1 degree 0 minutes 0 seconds for my 361 degree the same as happened for this angle so if i add 180 degree to this 232 degree 52 minutes 14 seconds plus 180 degree which which, which need to be my ideal or my actual uh, theoretical value so if i add 232 degree uh, 52 minutes 14 seconds plus 180 degree i'm going to get 412 degree 52 minutes 14 seconds so as you can see here this required value is clearly more than 360 degree and my thread is not going to subtract uh, is not going to show this value so what does thread light do is thread simply subtracts 360 degree from this 360 degree and 52 degree 52 
52 minutes 14 seconds so this needed, needed to be my ideal value in throttle light this need, this, so this is my ideal or my uh, uh, actual theoretical value if there was uh, no sort of uh, if, there, if there was no sort of uh, error but right now I have obtained uh, but right now I have obtained 52 degree 20 minutes 27 seconds which is uh, which is more than my uh, which is more than my ideal value and it is more by so I simply need to uh, do my uh, previous correction which is 27 seconds minus 52 degree 52 minutes 14 seconds so if I do this subtraction I'm going to get 0 degree uh, so I'm going to get so let me subtract this So as you can see over here, uh, in my thread, I need to have this value. This was my, this was my uh, theoretical, uh, this was my theoretical value. But right now I have obtained 52 degree 20 minutes 20 se uh, 27 seconds. So my, uh, so my observed value is uh, less. So as you can see here, it is. Uh, so let me just do my correction. 52 degree 52 minutes 14 seconds minus my observed value is 52 degree 20 uh, 52 degree. 52 degree 20 uh, 52 degree 20 minutes uh, 27 seconds so if i subtract this i'm going to get my uh, value as uh, 0 degree 31 0 degree 31 minutes 47 seconds so my observed value is uh, less by this quantity and if i divide it by 2 i'm going to get my value as divided by 2 uh, 0 degree 15 minutes 30 53.5 seconds 53.5 seconds so i simply need to add this value uh, add this value to my observed value in order to get my correction so 20 minutes 20 seconds so what i'm going to do is plus 52 degree 20 minutes 27 seconds so i simply need to add and i get 52 degree 36 minutes 36 minutes for my minute and 20.5 seconds so this is my corrected value in case i get my angle in this way so hope you have understood uh, this example as well so this was of a different case so i uh, mentioned this example as well in case you got this data uh, so hope you have understood all this uh, so you should whatever i have explained and if you like our content do subscribe the channel and like our video and if you have any queries you can comment down below thank you